what would you say to the shipper who looks at this and wonders, how many more things can YRCW do to keep going? Well, I think the answer to that is just to continue to execute, Mike. You know, one of the things that we're most proud of is excluding the blip that we had following the integration of Yellow and Roadway back in spring. Our service has continued to reach record levels now for several months, and in fact, the service levels right now in all of our companies are at historic highs, and I think the, the one thing that all customers deserve and have come to expect from us is really good service, and I don't think that that will ever change. The financial strength of the company is going to continue to improve. I think the worst is probably behind us from that perspective, and as we exchange these bonds for equity over the next several weeks, we're going to be going into 2010 with a company that's got a much stronger balance sheet, has a lot more access to liquidity, and will be able to work through the slowest seasonal part of the freight business, which, as you know, is uh, coming here shortly, starting after Thanksgiving. We look at this and think that all the steps we've taken over the last 10 months or so have now built to the point where we're feeling more and more confident about our position in the marketplace going forward. One of the things I'd like to point out to people, if, if somebody back in January of 2009, somebody had made a bet about whether Yellow was going to be able to pull all these things off, I think most people would have taken the other side of the bet. But the fact that you have pulled it off is really a significant accomplishment. Can you just briefly touch on relationship with the Teamsters there? I know for sure. a lot of years YRCW has been very proud of that relationship, and I think the thing that has pleasantly surprised a lot of people is the extent to which the Teamsters have stepped to the plate, not just with the wage reductions, but also in the suspension of the pension contributions for a period of time. Yeah, they've been extremely supportive right from Jim Hoffa on down through the entire Teamster organization. I think they realized early on that they had a very important role to play in our recovery, and they stepped up uh, almost immediately, got uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 35,000 35, to 40,000 Teamsters jobs here, and I think they were very focused on doing everything they could to help preserve those jobs in this really horrible recession that we've been through. So they were there early, and, and they were there with a lot of strength, and we appreciated all their support.